Yeah, so let's uh, continue Spirit Tracks. If you're watching later on YouTube, thanks for uh, clicking and hope you're enjoying so far. I'm looking around for my stylus. <laughs> I started the stream. And uh, the stylus is usually on my desk, but... Oh, there it is. I talked about this problem before. It's black stylus, black desk. It goes missing. Anyway. Okay, we're going in here. I think this is the floor, right? No, this isn't the floor. It's one up higher. I recognize that floor. It was lava, so it's even higher. There we go. Okay. Wow, it's awfully dark in here. I can't see a thing, Lankles. The place this creepy might even have ghosts floating around. Wait, I'm a ghost. You're not scared of me, right? Okay. Right, I'm not scary at all. But even if it's dark in here, we have to keep going. We're going from light source to light source, huh? That's weird lighting, but sure. I wonder. Okay. Ancient gold piece. Just holding it in your hand seems to take you back to those long forgotten days. I mean, it's probably just a treasure that sells, so... down. Guess I'll stick to the light sources and we'll be fine. I mean, let's just assume I don't have to read that. <laughs> Look, Lankles, that phantom has light. I mean, it's possible I can go back to the previous floor and read it. Thank you. 
I think that reached. No! Oh, hang on. I need to do it in the middle. There we go. That should have hopefully lit it. Yep. Blow out the lonely torch in a corner on this floor where the phantoms tread. Blur out the lonely torch. Then you will see a faint light. True. Or is it just... Okay. Am I having fun? Always. Always. <laughs> Hello, confirming. Oh, they have a fire sword this time. Wait, what? Oh. So I can just... Okay, there we go. It's your boyfriend's birthday and sister made mini chocolate cupcakes. <laughs> nice. The only thing is if I... I've had very good cupcakes before. And the thing is afterwards, it, I don't know, I just felt immobilized, like I didn't want to move anymore. Eventually a sugar crash hits. <laughs> it's pretty damn hard. At least it did for me. They're like crack, yeah, I bet. Hmm. So they keep coming back. Okay, it just damages. It doesn't do anything horrible. It sucks because you're trying to lose weight and you ate a meal's worth of calories and just cupcakes. <laughs> that shit adds up fast. Especially sugar stuff, like, that's the worst. I mean, as long as it's not something you're doing every day, it's like... Just depends how strict you want to be with it. Also, this is a loophole. <laughs> I'm, like, standing on the edge of the reach of this light, and I, I think I'm okay. They don't see me. No. No. I need to just... Oh, but see, that's annoying. Okay, I feel like I'm just complicating this. YOLO. Okay. 
honestly. Okay, that's two out of three. That's on the map, but where's the other one? Okay. And then it said, put out the lone torch. Oh, I feel like I'm asking for trouble here. Okay. Okay, I got my path. <laughs> I need hairdryer in hand. This is why I'm still playing this this way. <laughs> Excuse me. Okay. Ooh, I'm gonna go for it. Okay. There we go. Yay, I'm a torch phantom. So I've got this great sword to light the way. Now there's no need to worry about the dark. Come on. Alright. Well, I'm going to go back to the previous area. Because there was a sign that I couldn't read. And now I can read it. Wait, I think I've gone the wrong way. This is probably going to be a waste of time, but... I'm going to feel bad if I don't do it. Not this sign. Hurry up. Okay, this floor. What is so important? See that wall three steps to the right? It's kind of thin. <laughs> okay. Ancient gold piece. I mean, I'm guessing this is just stuff I sell like the previous game. So... Don't leave without me! At least it looks cool. Yeah, the collectibles in this one are a bit better. Move it, you're in the way, please. Zelda, please. This is definitely more enjoyable than, uh, 
than the Phantom Hourglass version of the dungeons. Just a time constraint thing and having to backtrack through the same thing. We didn't know how good we had it with Zelda's voice actor in this game. <laughs> as minimal as it was, sure. Yeah, I mean, I'm sure she's doing her best, but it's just the voice she does. I don't know, it just doesn't suit it. I can't say I've heard many people say that they like, uh... She sounds 40, yeah. Yeah. But it's not just that, it's... I don't know. There's something about the voice itself. I mean, it doesn't need to sound like, you know, super... super cutesy, right? There are people that have very old sounding voices when they're younger. I mean, I certainly had an older sounding voice. <laughs> the voice actor is 40. Yeah, but like, that, I don't think that should matter. There's, there's cartoons where like, for example, the person that plays Invader Zim and all those quirky characters, that dude is old now, but still can do a young sounding voice. There are people that have a voice that, I guess, can do it well. And some people just have old sounding voices. going on here? Oh. <laughs> I can't even see the rat. I just, I don't know, I just think there was just, I can't put my finger on it, but it, the voice just had this quality that I just didn't like. It's hard to say, like, I do agree it's, it sounded a bit older than it needed to, but there was something else about it that I just, I, I can't put my finger on it, but it just, it kind of got tiresome after a while hearing it. Breathy? Breathy? Maybe? Maybe, maybe the other thing was, like, it still felt like it was a damsel in distress despite them trying not to paint her out that way. Watch where you step. Eliminate as much as you can to find the answer. Well, there's clearly something like this, so let's just, let's just mark it. Okay. 
Okay. Z it's a Z. Zelda. It'll be interesting to see what role she has in this one. I still find it weird that they're being really secretive with the game, considering it's like less than a month away. Well, not even less than a month away, it's like a month away, roughly. It's not that far away, and we still don't really know what we're doing. They've shut off sandbox stuff. The new stuff is really cool looking, but... That looks... You, touch it first. It's the master hand. Oh no, this is this has become an escort quest, hasn't it? Uh, we've been found. I'll carry the key. You take care of covering me. Boomerang, I assume, will be able to get them. I can't remember what their official names are. I think it's Floor Master or something like that. You have the... Did I just... <laughs> I just hit the key out of her hand. I just slapped the key out of her hands. Oh, this one's smarter. That was straightforward. Yeah, you 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 did well. The only thing that'll make me like this uh, current iteration of Princess Zelda more is if she becomes Sheik again. Sheik was cool. We need more Sheik. made it to the rail map room. Okay, well that was easy. So, yeah, I mean... I'm making progress. This is just getting easier every time, don't you think? We should try for the next rail map. I don't know about you, but I could keep going and going and going and going. I'm just kidding. We actually can't go any further than this right now. Well then, let's go talk to Anjin. You like the voice acting in the sense that you think she's a talented voice actor. Just hate the direction and writing. Yeah. I mean, so that's that's what I say, like, she's doing her best. Because <laughs> I... I think it's, I don't know, there's just something about the character and just the voice in combination with that just doesn't work. 
wasn't the right fit. Yeah, I think it happens. I see you've retrieved the third rail map. Now you can go to the ocean realm. The guardian of that realm is a locomo named Carbon. Carbon! Find him and ask him to open the route to the ocean temple. You can reach the ocean realm by the way of the forest realm. The river down the southeast divides the two realms. There's a bridge here. Okay. It's weird because Mifa has a similar voice, but I don't mind Mifa. King Roman also not a fan of. His out of cutscene voices are a proper old man, then he just sounds like a 25 year old in the cutscenes. I wonder if they just reused Japanese voice lines. Maybe that's a result of that, like... It's possible that they just use the Japanese lines. Doing, doing an old man voice is very difficult without doing an old man voice, you know? <laughs> like... At a certain point, you're trying too hard to do an old man voice, but then sometimes you're not sounding old enough. Apparently the Japanese voice actors are very good. That's usually the case. I'm surprised they're indestructible. Oh shit. I have pro I have problems right now. I might die. I think I just got pincered. Fuck. <laughs> That's so horrible. I just got pincered by the trains. <laughs> Fucking hell, that's like an advanced uh, tactic right there. I'm gonna I'm gonna move a bit slower and let them move initially. Okay, I think we're good to go now. This looks fine. I've been doing well with the rabbits as well. I've been trying to get all of them so far. I mean, I've already got a heart container from it, but... I'm not going to rule out getting a second one, so... Oh. No, it's okay. Still safe. Still safe. Still safe. We're okay. Still safe. Still safe. We're okay. <laughs> Still safe.
Alright, we're good. I like the idea that rescuing the rabbits is just shooting at them. That reminds me, I gotta backtrack to uh, the ice area later. Who knew there was a tiny station all the way out here? Why don't we see who lives in that house over there? Oh. Hey, hey, howdy, mister. Mail for Lankles from the guard captain. Seems he thought up a new training regimen and is as giddy as a schoolgirl. Do the guy a favor and show your face around the castle sometime, okay? Oh yeah, and before I forget, here's that letter. Here you go. Okay, I've delivered your mail safely to you. Well, my work seems to be done here, so I'll be off. See you around. Hello, recruit. How's the sword training going? You should consider testing your skill against more experienced swordsmen. If you want to take your technique to the next level, stop by the training room in the castle. We're waiting for you. Okay, we'll do that later. I mean, I could go do it now, but, like... I just came all the way down here, and then to go back up, it would have to be something worthwhile. Hmm. Interesting. Just look at that bridge, it's a complete mess. How are we supposed to get to the other side? With the bridge in this state, maybe someone around here can fix it for us. Okay, well, I guess I can't go across anyway, so... Well, 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 what do we have here? What do you want, you rupeeless ragamuffin? This is no place for the likes of you. Shoo, shoo, already, get out of here. Hmm? What's that, you say? Who am I? Yeah. Listen well and remember the name Squirt. I'm Linebeck III, president of Linebeck Trading. I hunt down the rarest antiques from around the world. Then I sell them to the highest bidder. How's that for an introduction? Did I just blow you away? Oh yeah. Well, you do make a good point there. I am pretty spectacular. You know, I hadn't noticed before, but you possess a certain charm, Squirt. But, what are you doing here? You don't look like you've got a treasure to sell. Hmm? You're trying to get to the ocean realm, but the bridge is out. Well, that's a sticky situation, isn't it? Yep. But I agree that the bridge is a sad mess. The huge storms we had really did a number on it. I was going to call a bridge worker I know in the snow realm to fix the mess, but with the spirit tracks vanishing, I got bigger fish to fry. I see, 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 I deal with merchants all over the world and I can't get anywhere now. Wait, you're an engineer, aren't you? Well, that's just perfect. Go fetch that bridge worker so we can both get on with our business. Sound good? Okay. Ah, oh, I knew I liked you, squirt. I'll wait here, so go fetch the bridge worker. Chop, chop now. I wonder if Linebeck hooked up with the pirate lady. You know? Like... Did he hook up with Jolene? Hey, hey, howdy, mister. 
I've got a letter and package for you from Beetle Ankles. Beetle's Members Club really has a lot to offer, doesn't it? I thought about becoming a member, but I'm so busy with my job and all. I don't really have time for shopping and stuff like that. Oh yeah, your letter. Here you go. Okay. <laughs> just, just think about the level of megalomania you have to achieve to start a business and then you put your own face as the logo and business cards. Okay, I've delivered your mail safely to you. Well, my work seems to be done here, so I'll be off. I mean... I think there's some industries that you can do that and get away with it, like food industries, for example. But I mean, other than that, I don't know. Would you like to board the train now? Yep. In Australia, we had this uh, Australian businessman who started an electronics company. And so... The logo was his face. <laughs> I'm gonna go to the castle town first. I just wouldn't be able to do that, I don't know. Being the literal face or something. I'm gonna have to adjust course again. Because <laughs> these, these trains. I need to go that way. Oh, is this, is this still going to be wrong? Am I gonna get chased again? Can I make, can I make it before it gets to me? No, okay, it's fine. Oh, no, it's not. <laughs> Why do these trains have to be such a pain in the ass? All right, I have to follow behind this one and then go up this way now. Wait, it turned around. Gotta be kidding. <laughs> this is so annoying. I can't go anyway. Oh, this is so annoying. Okay, we're out. Am I safe? <laughs> Try again. this game. Okay, it's gonna go straight ahead, so I don't have to. Just I just have to wait for it. There we go.
Okay, pulling into the station. So weird having a Hyrule Castle that you can freely explore. Usually in these games, Hyrule Castle is off limits. So just having one that's so peaceful is is strange. Oh, so you've come back, recruit. Have you been training? Well then, let's have a little training game, shall we? Game. Yep, the rules are simple. Hit my three men as many times as you can. If you hit them enough times, I'll give you something nice. Wanna try? Okay. Oh, of course. Alright. Do you know, the thing that I don't like about this game is they've changed roll to be double tap, and it's doing my head in. Like that, yeah. I'm gonna eat some hits from that. Tolerate deserters. Uh, don't see that was an accident. <laughs> that was from accidentally rolling with double tap. Why did they have to change it? I thought it was fine having it on the edge of the screen. Yeah, let's make the combat roll exactly the same as attacking twice. Yeah. Good design. Trying to get to a hundred. Oh, okay, we're done here. <laughs> I thought it would be at least a hundred, but cool. I guess that's definitely worth a save, eh? This is okay. I got the feeling that that train at the bottom is gonna screw me over. We'll see, I might have to course correct. I have to course correct. I got the feeling I'm gonna have to do this. There we go. I 
think even still this might have problems. Okay. Good. This is probably one of the best overworld themes they have, outside of like the well-known ones. <laughs> I mean, I did hit the bird, just nothing happened to it. I have to make a pit stop at, but I'll check. I think it's just the Anuki village. It's possibly the person on the uh, the east side, maybe. Hey there, little guy. Huh? Take a look, pal. We're thinking of building a fence to keep those monsters out. Thing is, we don't have enough lumber to finish it. Talk about frustrating. Don't suppose there's a chance someone will come by with lumber, hmm? Lumber? Okay. Love them. 
I mean, even the music. Oh no. Okay, it's a it's a ice block puzzle. Tears of the Kingdom better have them. Uh, have they acknowledged them outside of this game? I mean, these two, that is. Nope, yeah. Snow races have been neglected. Yeah, they just make them people. Generic people. I like it when it was, um, Yeto and Yeta. <laughs> Hopefully Tears rectifies that. No. I don't think it will. I mean... So far what I've seen of that game, it, it just... I'm, I worry that there's going to be a lot of world recycling, you know? I just, I just get the feeling that that's just going to be... ...what's going to happen. I wonder if that's why they haven't shown much of it. Like, maybe they just have this concern that people will see it as, Oh no, this looks almost the same. brain puzzle. Hope it is Breath of the Wild, but with dungeons. I think everyone I've heard about talking about this game says the same thing. It's, they hope it's Breath of the Wild, but with dungeons this time. It's one of those things where I feel like if they don't do that, man, they don't listen to people. That's that's pretty out of touch if they don't. But based on what I saw of that trailer, it just it seems to me like the Sky Islands they're just gonna be the replacement for shrines. I just have a feeling that that's what it's gonna be. Like the shrines are gonna be Sky Islands. And some of them are, don't get me wrong, like, some of them are large. Some of them look pretty big. But I don't think they're, like, a replacement for dungeons. So, I don't know, we'll see. I'm hoping that it's Sky Islands and... Even if it's just... Four areas that are like Hyrule Castle. In terms of scope. I think that's- that'll be enough, you know? Like, big fights being in, like, a Hyrule Castle-style map that's just massive and... Hey there, little guy. Hey, guy. Even though it's sunny out, it's snowing in our hearts. As you know, we sell mega ice here. But a little while, while ago, an ice choo-choo fell in the water. And ever since then, there's been a gooey film floating on the surface. It's revolting, I tell you. If we made ice out of this water, our customers would never buy from us again. Do you know where we can fa find a place where water won't run out? Slimy water. And the weapons last longer than one fight. Okay, well... Weapons by default won't, but when you combine them, they will. That's the way they're addressing durability, is combined weapons last longer.
The weather's so nice, but it figures I'd get stuck with guard duty. When someone please give me a break. Not as hyped for Tears of the Kingdom as a lot of people are, but you're looking forward to it and fully expect to enjoy it. Not expecting a revolutionary game. Well, that's that's kind of the thing is because it's set in the same world in, as Breath of the Wild, it's not going to have the same sense of wonder that map had the first time you played it. So there is going to be a little bit of fatigue. But I guess it, it depends what they've done to it, you know. To what extent had they changed it? What they were showing around um, Lanayru kind of looked almost identical. With a few exceptions. Wait, we didn't find who we were looking for. Hey guy, looks like you made it back from the snow sanctuary in one piece. And it's all thanks to that solid gold advice I gave you, am I right? Is it the exact same timeline, same link? Yes, it's set a few years into the future of where the previous one left off. Um, we don't know what's happened, but more or less, some, you know... Something's been awakened, and you Link gets messed up. So, you know. That's- that's what we gather from it so far. Is- it's right after it. It's right after it. And, based on the, the theories of it, um... They think- well, the fan theories are, based on the first trailer, that the thing that's running rampant is um, Ganon from Twilight Princess, so like the actual human Ganon. Because they show this mummified evil being, and it has the stab wound exactly where the sword goes into Ganon in Twilight Princess. So, it seems to... It seems to be connecting to that game, so I don't know. That's the thing that I'm worried about is like, it, so far from what I've seen of this game, it seems like it's almost something that could have been a DLC. But that's just at the surface level. Like, I'm sure there's more to it, or at least I'm hoping there's more to it. But if you were to say, if you were, if they were to say, yeah, it's Sky Islands and then there's new crafting options, that could have been a DLC. I don't know. We'll see. Just hope the next Zelda is more traditional. Based on um, an interview with Al Numa, the producer of the game, said that they're probably going to stick to this formula for a while. I mean, they can change their minds, obviously, but... That could mean anything, like maybe at that point they had already been developing Tears. Tears wasn't announced when he said that, so it's possible that's what that meant. Open world games are enjoyable but fatiguing. No, I get that. They're, they're definitely more of a commit than something like this. And you do get travel fatigue. I just went past my destination! Right, no I didn't. I 
thought I did. I guess that's a tricky thing now is like, because the Switch is Nintendo's portable system and console, before, if you didn't like the console release, the portables were still there for you that were like more enclosed adventures. I mean, they could still do 2D Zelda, um, like they did with Link's Awakening. There's still always that possibility. Rule number one of the rails. If you see a whistle sign, pull your train, pull your train whistle before you pass the sign. Put some real feeling into it. What? When you see a slowdown sign, check your speed and drive in a lower gear. Why? Why would I do that? Don't stop beyond the stopping point. <laughs> I'm not doing any of this. <laughs> Reverse suddenly. <laughs> Good one. Good one. Good one. Wait, so who am I looking for? It's not here either. Worker. Hold on. Bridge worker? Where is there a bridge worker here? I haven't seen a bridge worker in the Anuki village either. Maybe here? But that's just a snow sanctuary. All those don't seem like do's. I mean, I've been doing all of all that stuff. I've been shooting the signs. It's just, it's just train etiquette, I guess. If you wanna follow etiquette, that's what you should do. But if you don't care about etiquette, then it need not matter. The only path that I haven't gone down, hang on, hang on, hang on. Maybe it's this way. I didn't check down this way. Because I didn't end up going down that way.
I was thinking, of the, when I read the first one, I thought, oh, maybe this is something that gives you money if you do that, you know, like a little, little bit of a bonus. It's just, oh, you tooted your horn at the right time. Good work. Have a little prize. But here, for example, like, this is going at full speed, right? Let's just see what happens when I do it. There's a station here. And it says not to use the reverse, but that's not, that's never going to happen. Love that the train is in sync with the music. <laughs> it's a nice little detail, yes. Good sound design. I'm just glad that the music is music, and not just five second loops. Okay, can I... What's, where's the song list though? I need to see, hang on, collections. It's a stamp book. Orange, yellow, orange, blue. Okay. I have a feeling that maybe this might work. Okay. <laughs> sure. That worked. That's the Song of Awakening. No, 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 we wanted the other one. Okay, hang on. Orange, yellow, orange, blue. Oh. Okay, that's what those spots are, I was right. There's another spot where I, I saw something like this, so, okay. I still need to save up 2,000 rupees to get the first heart container, so... That'll go a long way. <laughs> Link really gets into his flute. I mean... If I'm matching the amount of power I'm using. I'm honestly surprised that this does not come through on the microphone. Like, I'm putting this thing on a pretty loud setting, but it doesn't come through at all. You can't even hear the whirring up. Like, take this for instance right now. It's already on right now, so if you didn't hear anything. It's pretty subtle, and yet it's pretty close to the mic as well. If I put it, like, really close, you might be able to hear it. Anyway, what are you doing here, actually? So you're trying to restore all the spirit tracks. Sounds like a lot of work. Sometimes it sounds like I'm inhaling sharply. No. <laughs> it's just... I don't know how I can make it pick it up more. But, it, I mean, I'm just, I'm more impressed with the microphone, you know? That's some good noise cancellation right there. Okay. I guess being an engineer isn't all red carpets and caviar, is it? Sometimes you just gotta roll up your sleeves and put in some hard work. See, I'm a bridge worker, carpenter, and craftsman, so I know all about work. If you need a bridge, I'm your guy. 
I'll travel to any place that needs a bridge. It's called being a professional. That's why I expect you to restore the spirit tracks like a pro too. What's the matter? The... You want me to fix the bridge? Alright, let me add it. I got something to tell that line back anyhow. I'm ready to go right now, so I'll head to the train and wait for you there. What the? Ah, oh, rats, I was going to ask you to take me to Papuchia village? But I guess you're already giving the bridge work a ride, huh? Well, no biggie, I'll just walk there. It'll give me a chance to take some killer picks along the way. Oh, but you should know that bridge worker is super mega fussy. If you don't blow- Ah, there it is. If you don't follow the signs. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> He'll jump off the train. <laughs> don't use the reverse gip. But the Uh, <laughs> this is our first passenger. It seems pretty demanding, so let's be careful. Okay. But this is this is problematic because. I know, but the dude doesn't mind cannon fire. No, he's okay with cannons. What is that, whistle? There's no incentive to go quicker. I'm just risking losing if I do that. <laughs> you are a good engineer. You didn't crash once. Didn't hit a wall. Didn't hit a pig. Didn't collide with another train. Weren't late to the graduation ceremony. <laughs> Always obeyed the science. <laughs> I have shot down more signs than I've actually followed. I'm gonna, I'm gonna wait. Where is, where is this going? Okay. Let's see, this is. Oh, you've got to be kidding. Can I fix this? Okay, as long as I'm not using it suddenly, right? Like, as long as I come to a stop. Okay, go. Mm -hmm. 
Oh yeah, no, let, let's follow the rules whilst a, tra a train is about to murder us. Yeah, yeah. Stick to the rules. Follow the road rules. When there's a, tr a ghost train about to devour us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Keep following the road rules. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my god. I can't fix this. I have to just go. No signs? Okay, we're good. I'm okay, I'm okay. Okay, slow down. Now we're okay. Now we're okay. You got the idea, yeah, shoot the signs, yeah. Good idea, yeah, 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 shoot the signs, yeah. I am a happy customer, thank you for shooting the road signs. Now, we have to approach this very slowly now. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> it's okay. Still, still happy. Still happy. Still happy, still happy, still happy, still happy. Still a passing grade. <laughs> That's all that matters. <laughs> well, look at that, we're here. You sure know how to ride those rails, kid. A ride like that puts me in a working mood. I'm heading straight to the job site. Good. No. Thought she had something important to say. Let's go see Linebeck Jr. Jr. I see you managed to fetch the bridge worker. Nice going there, Squirt. You go ahead and show him where the bridge is busted. I'll head out later. Hair dryer out. The fine, yeah, okay. Interesting. Yep, this bridge uh, got a number one done on a number done on it. It's not beyond fixing though. It'll take a while, so go kill some time and come back later. Ah, the bridge worker. How have you been, my good man? Linebeck, well I'll be. How you been, you old treasure hound? Much better now that you're here. Do me a favor and work a little magic, a little of your magic on this dilapidated bridge. I can't read right now. Of course, of course, just leave it to me, shouldn't be a problem. Assuming, of course, that you've got my repair fee on hand. You do, right? You also still owe me for the work I did on your house, so along with the bridge, I'd say 5,000 rupees ought to cover the bill nicely. 5,000? 
Surely you must be joking. Lucky for both of us, this young fellow has kindly agreed to foot the bill. He's the one who wanted the bridge fixed in the first place, after all. All I did was send him your way, friend. Oh, is that so, little guy? What? Well, I'm glad we cleared up that little bit of unsavory business. Oh, and you'd better get that money ready, Squirt. No one likes a bill dodger. Ta-ta! Eh, I don't really care who pays me, as long as I get my 5,000 rupees. I'll go fix that bridge, but that money better be ready for me when I'm done. What kind of nonsense is this? 5,000 rupees? That's positively criminal. How can we be expected to come up with that kind of money? Let's go give Lionbeck a piece of our mind. What? Prostitution? Jeez, no. I mean, I guess Linebeck could prostitute himself, and that's how he can pay off his debts. What is it, Squirt? You look a bit worried. Is it because a little kid like you doesn't have 5,000 rupees to drop? Or relax, I've got a great idea I'm willing to share with you. We can scrape that moolah together, if you're willing to do a little work for me. Do, do what I say and we'll have 5,000 rupees before you know it. What do you say, Squirt? Down for some side work? Sure. Excellent. Now listen closely, as I only want to say this once. I've heard whispers of some high-value loot that was hidden here long ago. What loot, you ask? A gem of a treasure known as the Regal Je Ring. Sorry. From what I can gather, that thing's got to be worth the cool 8,000 rupees. Easy. My grandfather left a letter detailing the ring's location slowly before his, shortly before his passing. I've read the clues he gave and looked it all over, but I haven't hit pay dirt. This is where you come in. What say you find the ring and bring it back for me? Do that and we'll guarantee more than enough rupees to pay off your debt. Should be a sweet deal for all involved, are you in? All right. Fantastic, here's the letter Gramps left behind for your reference. Figure out the riddle, get your hands on the regal ring, and make us rich! Okay. The ring seems to be near Gramp's graves. You can get the... through here. Read the letter and see if you can suss out where the ring is. Oh, there's the mailing club. Very point and blah blah blah. Yeah, but I feel like I finished the game before I get anywhere close to gold, anyway. My dear boy, even though I'm no longer with you, I'm sure you're faring well. But just in case you run into some hard times, I've buried the regal ring in a safe spot for you to claim. It wouldn't exactly it wouldn't be fun if I told you exactly where though, would it? Use these clues to find it. To enter the hiding spot, sound the light and follow its beam. Inside, go four steps north and six west, where the light crosses. Okay, four, six, light cross. Sure. <laughs> Dude, that's the... Beware of sh Oh no, right, this is a thing. This almost feels like a scam. Fuck's sake. Oh, he didn't eat it. I, I, I hit the boomerang. I hit, <laughs> I hit the boomerang inside. Oh no, they're only stunnable. This is just a scam to get my shield. They're not dying. Oh! <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> I'm in a I'm in a death loop. <laughs> oh 
<laughs> what the fuck is this? <laughs> no, no, I'm not. I'm not touching anything. <laughs> I'm not touching anything anymore. It, it 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 pushed it pushed me through the door. Would you like to get a stamp? Sure. Oh no, this is a hundred percent like a scam from Linebeck. Just lures people into a treasure hunt, and then just gets their shield stolen, and then they have to buy one from him. Sweep. It's a sweep. No, wait, it's not a complete sweep. Yeah, game told me to get fucked. <laughs> it's just... Go and get fucked. This is what the song is. Okay, there's the beam of light. Why'd I do that? Oh my god! <laughs> I'm about to die to base. <sighs> oh, okay, okay. Thank you. There's a, there's a heal loop here. Or not. Okay, never mind. Uh, I have to play the song again. Okay, okay. I think I just played another song. Does playing the song of Awakening over the grave do anything? <laughs> Just... <laughs> Start the zombie apocalypse, why not? Okay, there's nothing here to awaken. Would have been funny to get Ghost Line back. for an intersection line. Yeah, roll. Yeah, do the roll instead of stabbing the enemy. Yeah, double tap to roll. Because no one would use double tap for anything else. Okay. 
Look, the ship, the shield ship has already sailed. Can I really not kill these things? Okay, I can. Why didn't the other ones die? Anyway, doesn't matter. Okay. Go fuck yourself. Point of intersection, it is four north, six west. Okay. One, two, three, four, and then one, two, three, four, five, six. Now we play this stupid song. Okay, what is it? It's like. Did I do this wrong? It's... Oh no, but it's... Yeah, so it's one, two, three, four, and then one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, West is left, right. Fucking idiot. <laughs> one, two, three... Four, five, six. I've had a long day. I know Wester's life, I just brain farted. Do you want to know how we got? We got taught this in uh, elementary school. Check it out. Never eat soggy wheat bix. <laughs> wheat bix. Not mix. Wait, Bix. It's like it's. So it's, it's. I wouldn't even call it a cereal. It's. It's literally like a fucking tablet of wheat, and for some people, it's a breakfast. I don't know why. Like they just add milk to it and maybe some honey, and that's their breakfast. They just eat like a slab of wheat. I don't know why you would enjoy that. It just becomes mush. In the US, it's waffles, really? Huh. There are other acronyms as well that I've heard, but that's the one that I got taught on. What's that look for? You've got a strange twinkle in your eye. Why, you devil, you found the regal ring, didn't you? Yep. Haha, <laughs> I knew I could count on you to bring home the bacon squirt. Well, where is it? Let me look at that thing. Oh, it's just breathtaking. Gramps always had an eye for treasure like this. The weight, the amazing craftsmanship. This beauty's worth a ton for sure. Oh, you don't say. It must have been one heck of a ring then. You bet it is. It's gotta be worth a cool 8,000 rupees. Hey, when did you get here? How long have you been standing there? 
just came to let you know the bridge is all patched up. Oh. Oh yes, that's right, wonderful. Sure is, and now that the work's done, I'll take that ring as payment. So this little doodad's worth 8,000 rupees. Could've fooled me. Still, it beats taking another IOU. If you need anything else, just give me a holler. Can you believe he just took off with that ring? It's worth almost double what I owed. Crud. I guess that's that. Still, you've got a real talent for sniffing out treasure. Ooh. Tell you what. From here on out, bring any treasure you find to me. If they impress me, I'll trade you some lovely new train cars for those... Tra uh, uh, no, can I just get money? Okay, I can't wait to... <sighs> Give me money! <laughs> I don't want... I don't want train stuff. Uh, treasure. Oh, cool. Yes! We got enough of the heart piece. Okay, we got we got we got a few we got a few decent things here. Keep all the ones that are, are cheap, because you might be able to sell them for something. Can't go wandering without a shield. A hundred rupees. How much did I pay for the shield in the town? Um, hang on. Spirit. I want to see the, the shops. Is he ripping me off? Shield is worth 80 in Castletown. Nah. Let's be realistic, kid. Do you really want to be out there without a shield? Yeah. If you're gonna charge me 20 extra fucking rupees. No. Plus, um, I'd rather go to the snow area and buy that heart container and probably be able to get a shield there cheap, so... We're not going to the snow thing. We're going to go get that heart container and we're also going to buy a new shield because Linebeck scammed us out of a shield. I'm going slowly here because uh, phantom trains. Also using this as an opportunity to swap my headset batteries. So if you hear any, like, clicking plastic sounds, that's just that. Oh, you've got... No, it's okay. It didn't turn. Nope, it turned. It's gonna turn now. Okay. This might be problematic. Is it possible that it's going to turn? Let me just reverse, just in case. Okay, it's going straight. Alright, cool.
both of them. Alright, we'll just, we'll be fine. I think an incentive for the signs would be if you've got like a little bit of money for it. If I got a mini reward for following the road rules, then sure. Or if it was negative reinforcement, like a train cop just pulls up, <laughs> get fined. One of these, uh, locomos, you know? Okay, I believe it was here. At the Snow Sanctuary, there is a shop. And whoever was playing the bongos for the song just would have had such a good time. I knew, my, I knew my shield was going to get stolen the moment I purchased it for the first time. The fact that it didn't go out of stock, I knew that the, that was going to happen at some point. Okay, I think there's a heart here. I don't know. Just a hunch. Hey, guy! This here is the Anuki General Store. We got everything you need. Check it out. Good. Many thanks, buddy. What else? Oh, no. 150. No, 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 no. Going back to the castle town. Wow, that's even more of a ripoff than Linebeck. Here I thought Linebeck was trying to rip us off. This price is actually reasonable. They deserve my money. Why? You're gonna say that cute things deserve more money?
<laughs> You're falling into the trap. I'm not going to fall into the Anuki trap. Oops. Excellent. Press deep pad. Purchased a heart from them. They got a lot of money. I just thought, oh, maybe since I'm here, I'll, I'll get a shield as well. Not. They got a lot of my money, so. Beetle. Beetle, please! Come back. <laughs> Gone. Using this as a stopping point. Okay. Forest. And now let's go buy a nice, well priced shield. It's kind of weird that, um, a castle would have a cheaper shield. I thought out of all the places it would be the more expensive one. High supply, I guess. See, I, I, I mean, I guess if time mattered, I should have just gotten it from Linebeck. But it's fine, I had to go up that way anyway to get my heart container.
Okay, here we go. Off the ocean. They should just keep all the creatures they create and have them appear in other games, because everyone's a fan of one thing in every game. Like, another thing you don't see is those cats in Skyward Sword. I feel like people would go absolutely ballistic if you could pet them. I should get train parts at the end just to uh, make the train a bit more sturdier. Beetle has a, uh, a heart container that I need to buy, so I gotta prioritize that first. I'll be a good engineer and follow. Follow the rules here. Oh yeah, and I speed up in the middle of the bridge. That makes sense. That's consistent. either. I think that was a good stop. Papichia Village. Well, here we are in Papuchia Village. I summered here once when I was young, but I haven't been here since. Wanna go swimming? Do I ever? Well, I can't exactly do that in my current state. But when I get my body back, we should definitely come back here to swim. Anyway, let's go. Oh boy! Welcome to Papachia, a village at sea. Our village leader is a clairvoyant who can see into the future. We call her the wise one. Fish. Thanks to the wise one, it's been a bumper crop. Yeah, crop year for a fish? Would you call it a crop year? I heard all to her. I suppose they grow crops. 
nothing. Don't have arrows, so... I'm guessing this is where we're gonna get arrows. That has to be something. <laughs> too many cupcakes. Yes, the self-inflicted regret after eating too much. What are these things? Pirates often show up in the water surrounding this village. In fact, all the local men have been kidnapped, including that one guy. That one guy? So please, you can make it. Of course, the stars foretold your arrival, Lankles. How do I know your name, you ask? <laughs> the stars foretold that as well. I know everything you see, even things that have yet to happen. I sense your heart is heavy with a deep concern. Is that so, I guess? I thought so. Well, do you want me to tell your fortune? Please. I'm going to ask some questions, so answer them with a strong, clear voice. Okay. You got it. I was using the hairdryer to answer. Okay. Boy! Oh, yes! Boy! <laughs> Stupid. What's your eye color? Brown! Eh, brown! Ah yes, just like my mother. What is your astrological sound? Eh, uh, who gives a shit? Why you ask me stuff like that, eh? It doesn't matter. Stop putting people in a box. Ah yes, the sign of the, an ingenious inventor. <laughs> now listen to the message of the stars. In another land, a man goes through life with an empty heart. He looks for love, but only a prophet can help him. What you need for today is courage. Okay. Well. I think what I said just must have matched up with a waveform of something else and it just accepted the answer. Like, uh, yeah. That's a star sign, yeah, the, uh, who cares star sign. Hey, hey, look at me, I've got something very important to ask you. If you were to describe me in one word, what? I'm not describing you in one word. Blah. Blah. Tee you would say something like that? The wise one told me my future. She said I'm going to be a movie star. So I won't be just an extra, Tee What is this village? Is 
They've been in all the huts, right? He didn't listen to the wise one, and then... And then what? I didn't I don't even remember what the wise one said empty heart something like that You can catch the most delicious fish in the waters here, please let there be no fishing I don't want to I don't want to do that again In this village, we decide all matters by what the wise one thought. Okay. Is this just I should defy the wise one? I'm sensing that you want to hear your fortune. No. I see. I hope my misfortune doesn't await you. What is this? There's nothing else here. Oh, don't tell me I have to go pick up that guy that wanted to come here. I think I have to go pick up the guy that wanted to come here. Okay. So we gotta go back. I'm gonna have to do the, the road walking again, can't I? <laughs> Just stretch to get to the next, uh... The next temple or whatever this is. It's taking longer than the previous one. Like, I've been playing for a couple of hours and we're still not really up to the part where we get to go into a dungeon. I decided that I am going to play Skyward Sword. I know I'm going to do this because it's Easter coming up, so there's going to be a bunch of days off anyway, so I think I can get Skyward Sword done in those days off. If I put my mind to it, I can do it. I'll just do what I did with Twilight Princess, just spend a couple days where I just play it all day. It shouldn't be too bad anyway, since I played it. But not recently, but... Uh, more recent than some of these other ones, let's put it that way. I guess it'll be on hard mode, so we'll see. Or maybe I should just read up on hard. <laughs> See what I'm getting myself into. Jeez, look at that. They're about to pincer attack again.
Oh, you... <laughs> it turned. I thought it was going to keep going straight. They were both going to turn. These trains are so annoying. <laughs> it's just... I don't mind that they're there, it's just the fact that they're indestructible. And they just seem to block you perfectly, every time. Like, it's just prolonging it. Like, a journey that would take less than a minute is extended fivefold <laughs> sometimes just because of their shit. I guess since I have a minute, let's just, let me, since I just brought it up, Skyward, Sword, hold on, Skyward, Sword, HD, Hard Mode, what is it? Everything that changes in Hero Mode, here we go. Let me just deal with this first. Hero mode pushes the gameplay to a level that demands mechanical mastery, the likes of which the series hasn't seen since the NES days. Okay. Hero mode doesn't change too much about Skyward Sword, but it changes enough to improve the game wholesale. Coupled with all the quality of life features, right? Hero mode stands out as one of the best gameplay challenges in The Legend of Zelda. And one every fan should experience at least once. Okay. Arguably the biggest change in hero mode is the fact that hearts no longer drop naturally. This means you need to either be very careful about taking damage or carry potions in your adventure pouch. The only way to get hearts to drop is by equipping the heart medal, which Bloom's heart flowers in the overworld again. Beyond that, the only way... Ugh, you stupid fucking train. Beyond that, the only way to reliably heal is by sitting in chairs. Okay. Double damage! Uh. Along with hearts no longer dropping, Link now takes double damage. It's still coming for me. This is so obnoxious. Harsher stamina consumption. Okay, so... Treasure and bugs carry over. It serves as a soft new game plus. I, I, I've basically started again. While virtually everything resets, including hearts, equipment, and medals, your treasure and bugs do actually carry over. If you have time to farm, farm bug rock on your normal playthrough before beating game, you can start hero mode with all the treasure you'll ever need. This is extremely useful since potions are useful. With enough bugs stockpiled up, you breeze through the early game only running out of bugs once the difficulty curve spikes. Okay. Um, Skyward, but then there's stuff that balances it out. Um, the Skyward Strike is buffed. So it, it does more. Is this going to turn? No, it's going to go straight. Right, okay. So, I mean... <laughs> hmm, I'll have to think about this further. <laughs> Because on the one hand, I feel like I want to try it, but on the other, I don't want it to drag out. Ah, oh, stop! Oh, this, oh! <laughs> it's just making this take so much longer. 
It's so annoying. <laughs> Just let me go to my destination. I have to adjust like 50 times. Okay. Hero mode is very, very difficult, from what I've heard. Okay, I mean... I'm reading threads here as I they weren't kidding, what is... So everyone's saying that, like, it becomes a kiting game, effectively. Ah, oh, hmm. Interesting. I don't know if I should- I don't know if I should do this. It's hard to say. I think it's definitely entertaining for me to do it. There's no doubt about that, it's just, I think the concern I'll have is, is the time constraint, because, you know... We still have... Link Between Worlds... ...and, uh... Triforce Heroes. And then, of course, the big one, Breath of the Wild, right? Triforce Heroes is mainline? Uh, I think so. Uh, let's- let me see in the timeline. Uh, Zelda timeline. The official one. Official, that's the one we're looking for. I actually have the book, so I could get the book and pull it out. Yep. It is, it is indeed. It is part of the era of the fallen hero. So, it's A Link to the Past, Link's Awakening, Oracle of Seasons and Ages. Um, and then A Link Between Worlds happens. And then Triforce Heroes happens. So, Triforce Heroes... ...is, uh, yep. The last bit of that, like, saga. So, it is mainline. their value customer. Five more. Wait, wasn't wasn't the dude here? Don't 
told me he moved. Oh. He did say he was gonna he was gonna walk, but thought he was kidding. Okay. trying to think where would he have gone maybe it's not where he is anyway it doesn't matter okay um Go. I'll just go back. I think you can keep heading east. There was a little bit more. Maybe there was something I could do. Just thought maybe. This person needed a ride, but nope. So, uh, I think Hyrule Warriors is the one that isn't considered part of mainline, as far as games go. The other one because it's telling the story of um, the rise of what's his face, Calamity Ganon. That one might be considered mainline, but. I don't really see it mentioned anywhere in these timelines. Oh no, there it is, Age of Calamity. Just depends if we want to count it or not. The gameplay of the Warriors game is very, very different. It's it's uh it's not an adventure game by any means. It's it's kind of grindy. I've never really gotten into any of the Warrior games, like whether it be Zelda or uh, or a Fire Emblem. I guess if it's heavy on story, it might be worth looking at, but again, in the in- I'm about to die! In the interest of time. We'll be fine, we'll be fine, we'll be fine, we'll be fine, we'll be fine. happening? Why is the routing being so weird? Okay, well now I'm riding this in reverse. 
This is gonna screw me over again, isn't it? Yep. Psycho train. Okay, I think I can relax now. I don't think it's going to catch up anymore. Oh, Beetle! 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 Beetle just ignored me. Wow, doesn't want my business. I guess let's just keep going. that sound. Dolphins? Are they are they friendly? You never know. But I wanna assume that the dolphins are friendly. Okay, so there was one more train station. Oh, okay. Well. If you were at the Ocean Sanctuary, I wonder what Carbon is like. And I wonder if he'll be on wheels like the other locomos. Come on, let's go meet him. Getting familiar with my surroundings. Hmm. I wonder. Hair dryer. Okay.
nothing hidden. Okay. Just checking. What what on earth are you? annoying enemy. I'm kind of afraid to approach some pots now, just in case. I don't want to get my shield stolen again. Okay. That did not work. Oh, I know what I need to do. I, I just gotta remember I have more time than I think. Or am I am I complicating this? I might be complicating this. Okay, what is going on here? Let's just make sure there's no, like, southern path or something. Hmm. Why didn't it reach the first time I did that? Okay. Complicated! Yep, that seems suspicious. Really? Kind of. Su I'm kind of surprised. make notes so this one's facing this way this one's facing this way ok 
Okay, it's just the bridge to get across. That makes sense. Okay. Just that. Ah! facing this direction. Chicken! Okay, wait, what direction is that facing? That's facing down. No! Ooh, I almost threw the chicken into the... the abyss. I need chicken to get here. Hmm. Okay, this one's facing this way. Oh, that's what these are for. They're for. I think I got what these are for. Okay, but... There's one more island I can't seem to get to. Unless I need a chicken as well. Hmm. Oh, there we go. <laughs> okay. Here. Okay. Chest that. Hmm. So what is what is it gonna say? Follow the gaze of the statue, the true Okay, so This is just a double diamond. I think it's just a double diamond. Okay, cool. He's <laughs> putting the hair tribe down. <laughs> Carbon doesn't seem to be here, Lankles. Hey, what's that? Let's check it out. I'm at Puppetia Village visiting my sky friends, Carbon. Too bad Carbon isn't here. Let's go to Puppetia Village and look for him. 
were just there. Unless it's just gonna pre-script it now, and now he's really gonna be there. I guess there's no sense going through the cave, let's just... This has been a very long segment. destroy the barrels just in case. I don't know. Ah, oh, you can make him jump. They were talking about a guy. I guess they were talking about a guy, so that's who they meant. They meant Carbon. Um, but I mean, what haven't I done? Right, let's go back to the old lady. Oh, look over there, Lankles. That whitehead fellow is floating in the air. Could that be the locomo Carbon? Oh! Carbon! Carbon! He's in some sort of daze and doesn't seem to notice us. Maybe the wise one will know what to do. Why didn't we notice him earlier? Please. Huh. <sighs> Bye! Boy! Oh, yes! Ah, uh, brown. Brown! <laughs> I hate this so much. Bah, who cares? Why you ask that question for, eh? Stop putting people in a box. <laughs> That's what I said last time. Below the sky... Below where the sky dwellers gather, near the lonely tree, there is a hidden stone that will call him. Courage. There is a hidden stone that will call him. Oh. I get it. And now I got a new song to learn. What is that? Purple, yellow, purple. Okay. Nerve. There I was flying high in the sky, unwinding. Then you play the song of birds and I come crashing down. Don't you know that song has the power to call birds, do you? To you. 
Okay. What's that? You say you want you went to the ocean sanctuary? It's true, and we saw the note that you were here. Did you not hear me? I was yelling your name. Don't be so upset. I wasn't just lollygagging, you know. I was talking to the birds about the different places they've seen. Oh, I didn't know you were friends with birds, Carbon. But never mind that, we're in dire need of your help. Hmm. Let me guess, you want me to restore the spirit tracks, don't you? I was hoping to relax here a little longer, but fine. Take me to the ocean sanctuary, on your train. Let's go. I'll be waiting for you in the train. And now I'm gonna have to obey the road rules and probably... Hoot at dolphins. I think finally though we're making progress. We have a passenger. Let's just take our time. There you go, get to see some dolphins. Oh, they heal you. Oh, you've got to be kidding. Did I just call that over? Or is it scripted? What on earth? Oh no, pirates, dastardly kidnapping pirates. You must protect me from them, Lankles. Yes. I'm just worried that I'm going to double tap and mess this up. Okay. So slow enough, I can just... Good. Really, still? Thanks for hitting me back into the hell. Ah, oh, there's a backswing. Nut bite. Done yet?
Thank you, you really saved my hide there, Lankles. Well, now that that bit of unpleasantness is over, let's get to the sanctuary. Oh, these things are back. Oh, come on. Just overshot it by a little bit. Ah, oh, we finally make it. Made it. It was just a short distance away, but it felt so far. I suppose mortal peril has that side effect on a person. You really must be more careful in the future, Langles. Kia, this is for you. You look confused. I'll explain, Langles. Every living being possesses an energy. And this energy is similar to the energy that the powers the spirit tracks. When a person's heart is especially happy or grateful, his energy levels become particularly strong. Energy lives in the hearts of everyone, even feeble old fellows like me. I don't express it well, but the bottom line is that I appreciate your help. Here, please, take this. It belongs to you. new section back that way. You plan to continue your journey by, re by train, do you not? Then you must always go forth with people's hearts in your mind. When you make people happy, their spirits emit energy. When this energy builds, new tracks appear. This should be very useful for your journey. Alright, I'm heading to, to the sanctuary now. See you. Okay. I mean, there's nothing else to do here than I, I imagine. I'll go there just in case. Ha! <laughs> These things are annoying, but I can just walk past them. Nope, bye. Oh, I went the dumb way. <laughs> I forgot about the bridge. <laughs> Thanks again for earlier, Lankles. Let me reintroduce myself. I am Carbon, Guardian of the Ocean Realm. You're here to restore the spirit tracks, aren't you? Yes. But of course. You've come all this way, so I'll do everything to help. Very well, then. In order to restore the tracks, I'll need your help. You do know about Locomo songs, don't you? Yes. This song requires two different instruments to play different parts. I'll teach you your part first. Uh, yeah, this shit. <laughs> okay. I'm either gonna get this right away, or it's not gonna work. Ooh, this is annoying because it has to skip and I don't think I can do this with the hairdryer though. Fuck. Alright. This is going to suck. But I'll try my best.
The fact that I have to skip a note and it does it so quickly, that's so annoying. This one, this one really sucks. Hang on. So annoying. Ah, it just doesn't give you enough time to do it. Okay, but it's done. I did it with the hairdryer. Okay, there we go. The ocean temple itself, however, resides deep on an ocean floor. Only a tiny part of it is visible above the sea level. To go to the ocean temple, you must first head to the ocean floor. Well, you're wondering if the train can travel on the ocean floor. How dare you question the spirit's strength. The ocean floor is covered with rails, so, of course, the train can move freely there. The way to get down there is... Blast, I can't remember where the entrance is. Oh yes, now I remember. I knew I might need the information later. That's why I wrote it down myself, just in case. Sounds hot? What sounds hot? Is it Twitch yet? What sounds hot? It has instructions on how to get to the ocean floor. Go to the collection screen to read it. Okay. Dear self, if you forget some... I know you'll forget, so I'm leaving you instructions to get to the ocean floor. Carbon. Okay. One, two, three. Doing it with a hairdryer. Oh. What did I say? Oh, because I did... I, I did the music section with the hairdryer. I mean, if you want to believe that I fucked a hairdryer, sure. Not really. I don't know. Unless you meant literally hot, where uh, this does have a setting. I can I can make it blow hot air instead of cold air. Okay. So what was that path that was highlighted before then? Coal there, how does that dry? It dries. It's like those hand dryers that are... Some of them, they are cold air. There's a reason there's cold air. I don't know why, but I know there's a reason. I 
I bet it's got to do with hair care. Drying with cold air. When you blow dry with cold air, it helps prevent hair damage, which you may get when you use heat. Blowing with cold air also helps to keep close to the cuticle, effectively sealing in moisture. So there you go. You don't want cold pants, but it's not ice, it's not like cold cold, it's room temperature. Like it's not, it's not like there's ice or something making it become an air conditioner, it's just room temperature air. So yeah, drying your hair with hot air too much damages it, there you go. How did I miss? Oh, just. Okay. Go, 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 go. What are you doing? Where is this going? Just towel dry. I mean. 99% of the time, I do. It's just a dead end. What on earth? Where's this gonna take me? Yeah? What in the world could this be? Some text is appearing, it's faded. Let's see. Pass through. The gate. Steam whistle will open. Okay, well... This is a warp point, so we're not gonna do that. Maybe it feels colder because you're in the UK, I guess. Average temperature would be lower. Or maybe people in the UK just have a lower tolerance for cold. this whole time. Maybe it's just you. Could be. I mean, some people have... If you... Some people have a uh, warmer body temperature. Like, if you touch them, they're warm. And then there are people that have colder, where you touch them and they're, they're cold. Like, hands-wise is the easiest way to tell. Like, you touch my hands, they're always warm. Sure, I could have done this better. Am I really gonna reverse the whole way? Yours are usually cold. That might be why then. The 
train magically turns around. Okay, so... I guess that's, that's the path we have to take. I wonder if there's rabbits here. Just had pop coffee. So what, you're saying your hands are warm or are they still cold? Oh, come on. We're on from holding the mug, gotcha. I need dolphins to give me hearts. Oh, there is a rabbit. How's this gonna work? What? <laughs> okay. A rabbit that can walk on water. Take pictures of the train on fire. So, we meet again. I heard the ocean spirit tracks had returned, so I came to see for myself. It's just a rumor, but I hear there are even tracks that run underwater. Oh, and guess what else? Just guess. They say there are sculptures that, are, that react to big noises out there, too. Okay. I'm gonna do this instead. Just now that there's rabbits in play. Good, they gave me help. Grab it! Got it. <laughs> okay. I guess they're going to be over the ocean. Give health, dolphins, please, help. What am I looking for? Stop. What am I looking for? There's no train stop here. Ah. Okay, there we go. Alright, that's one. Ooh. 
Rabbit. Got it. <laughs> I'm just tapping. Honestly, I don't have a strategy for it. I was worried there was going to be phantom trains in this area, but this is kind of relaxing. This is dolphins and you just kick back and chill. Okay, hold on. Check. The music is super chill, it is. This is a good soundtrack, this one. Compared to the previous game. The previous game had good stuff in it, but just nowhere as detailed. Okay. Check that. Go from here. Okay. Oh, right. Should probably be hitting that. Oh no. Ah, oh. <laughs> damn it. That one was harder to keep in the air than than the one in uh, Phantom Hourglass. There'd better be a good reward for rescuing the rabbits. I'm concerned it's not going to be a good reward, since it already gave me a heart container. But I'm still doing it. I should probably go back to the sanctuary and see if I get anything. Sound. Oh, that! Jeez, I almost missed it. Easy. <laughs> okay. I almost missed it. This is why I'm blowing the horn, because if, if there's a rabbit nearby, it'll, it'll make a sound. Uh-oh. I shouldn't have done that. I may have just messed it up. We'll see what happens. Maybe it doesn't count.
Where? Oh, it's still, it's still here. Where is this? There it is. I think I messed up. Yep. Don't need to take another look at the letter. I'm gonna go around this way, I guess, now. Okay, hold on. I just messed up. I got an extra one on the way. No, reverse. But we wanna do that. Okay, now we wanna go forward. Alright, there we go. Just need to be careful not to accidentally trigger another one. Ah, got you. Okay, now I can relax for a while. It's unlikely there's another one. I still hit the barrels just for money and maybe health. track of it that quickly. Jeez, I actually they have to look up, otherwise it doesn't register. Okay. Some dolphin heal. Please heal again. They didn't heal again. enemy spam. Ah! <laughs> Still hit me. Okay, stop, 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 stop. Just the dolphins.
Rabbit. Okay, where's this one? Okay, stop. Where are we looking? I don't see anything yet. What? According to the map, it's here. Why am, why am I not seeing it? I can't play music, can I? No. So, what gives... I don't see it. Okay, I may have missed it. Let's go back for a little bit. Wait, is that it over there? Hold on. Forward. What the heck? What is this thing? If it's not that one, then which one is it? I don't see anything. I've gone over this area multiple times. Okay, hold on. Oh. That would be why. It's not actually on the island. Yeah, that's my bad. So it is that one. Okay. So then the way to get to this one is this way. It's just on the left here, then. Mm. 
I'm surprised it hasn't registered yet. Okay, there it is. Into the fish. Man, it took a while to get up to this point. This is probably the longest stretch I've had to go through. Uh, surely there's no rabbits here. Search for rabbits. I mean, are they really going to go like technically that there's an ocean bunny, an underwater rabbit, a sea rabbit? I doubt it. And usually there's multiple, so let's just head there. Rabbit fish. No way, is what game has a bunny fish? I feel like that's in Terraria. I think that's in Terraria. There's a bunny fish. Never heard of a bunny fish. Well, obviously it's not real. <laughs> this is something they have in that game. And Stardew Valley Expanded had the, the puppy fish. I guess I get more money per fight. That's fine. I think the bunny fish was a was a quest fish in Terraria. Oh, you've got to be kidding! The phantom boat is back. Uh, ah. I guess there's only one of them. This is this is straight up just hey, let's delay the player five minutes. Let's not get let them get to their destination. No, let's put a, an obstacle in the way that just makes them go around in a literal circle. <laughs> I hate these trains because you can't do anything to destroy them, they're just there. Oh, come on! <laughs> what is this? This is not cool. Okay, but I should be okay. I've, I've done the right thing here. I don't have to course correct. <laughs> Unless a third one appears. that everything's going to be okay. Oh, 
I mean, this is nice money, if nothing else. I think we're okay. Be a real dick move for another... another phantom train to appear. Choo choo, hello gaming. How's it going? Okay, finally arrived. Took a while to get to this temple this time. So here we are at the ocean temple. You ready to go in? Yes. I say onwards, but not yet. I need to do a very small intermission chat. Um. It's trash day and I need to go put out the trash, but also I've been playing for three and a half hours, so I need to refill my water bottle. So this is where we say farewell to YouTube watching this VOD later. <laughs> but uh, we will continue in a couple minutes. Just let me do two things and then uh, we'll start this ocean temple. So get a snack, get a drink or something and uh, be back as quick as I can. So don't go anywhere. <laughs> 